the reel to fire up and there it is welcome home bitcoin truth seekers it is saturday january 25th 2020 it's 8 26 a.m here in the arizona desert is the coronavirus causing some instability in the markets well let's take a look at what we can it is saturday so of course we can't see the traditional markets right now because they're all closed but let's start where we always start and look into this topic briefly all right tether into bitcoin 1.82 billion tether into ethereum 866 million our real volume across the top 10 exchanges last 24 hours coming in at 483 million. We'll cross check that with Bitcoin trade volume and we're at 499 million. Pretty close, close enough. Where is most of that volume happening? Binance. With that said, let's look at longs versus shorts on Binance. Longs 35%, short 64%. So even though Blockchain Whispers is showing a uh, current sentiment as positive, the big players on Binance appear to be shorting. They're not always right, but it's an indicator that I do I do follow. Now, Bitcoin on the daily. This is this green line here is the 314 moving average. We are definitely challenging that today. We're probably going to break above or below. The MACD is negative. So are we going to bounce here around 8300 and start to move up? Maybe challenge this 200 moving average today at 8900? We shall see. It's weekend. Volume is low as we can see. If we do go below that daily 314 moving average at around 8300, we're probably going to go down to the 05 uh, fib level and that is at 8042 definitely a lot of support and resistance in the chart and definitely a lot of buy sell volume but of course where we're at if we look over here at the uh, daily chart on 8300 look here at the four hour chart where i drew this fib you know we are hanging out at the 3a2 fib level we definitely, we definitely do have plenty of buy sell volume there it's all about which magnetic attraction is going to pull harder this buy sell volume and fib level at around 8600 or the buy sell uh, volume and support and resistance in the chart at 8000 we shall see it's really anybody's guess it's all about this daily 314 bounce are we going to bounce above that or are we going to go below it if we go below it i would expect this dot five fib level at 8042 or 8000 you know around there we definitely have a lot of support resistance in the chart maybe we'll see a bounce there or maybe we'll just continue hanging out sideways if we do look at a very very short time frame it's a 45 minute chart we have been hanging out sideways basically flirting below and above 8300 it's all about what's the news going to do what and when i say news well, what's the news going to do what are the whales going to do what's going to happen we don't know i never really predict i just kind of show what is that's what i like to do because I don't think anybody really knows. We shall see. Bitcoin could dump or pump $1,000 in the next 20 minutes. We all know it. So, I'm a member of Blockchain Education, have been for over two years. Love to see you there in 2020. Hey, you can learn how to trade there. You can sit back and watch videos, learn the trading methodology. I use it, it works for me. Uh, click on the affiliate link in the description below, get a big discount, join the team. Even if you don't do that, definitely bookmark this, blockchaineducation.au. Uh, forward slash news that is linked to in the show notes this is a great place to get daily news on crypto now the coronavirus and market instability well there's lots of articles about it we don't really know what's going on a lot of predictions from crazy i mean like horrible to it's just going to blow over it's no more than a flu regardless of what you may think as far as the severity of this it still is big news and, you know, China's president, Xi Jinping, warns killer coronavirus is accelerating as doctor dies and U.S. evacuates its citizens. With that said, whether you think it's a big deal, whether it's whatever your take on it, the severity of this, it's still big news. Big news, I think, does affect markets. Now, traditional market is closed. Okay, so we don't really know what's a, what's happening today because it's saturday but with that said let's look at the dow jones industrial average and on friday we closed with a big red daily candle macd has gone negative let's look at the spx the s p 500 on friday we closed with a big red candle s p is turned negative uh the russell 2000 index the little guys boom big red candle macd is negative 
What are we going to see when it opens on Monday? I don't know any more than I know exactly what's going to happen with Bitcoin in the next 15 minutes. But it's just something to note. There is global instability, I believe, in the markets caused by this. And we're going to see how it plays out. It would not surprise me if that news had something to do with these dumps we see in the big market. They're not massive. They're fairly small, but something to keep an eye on. Let's see. Uh, watch the news and uh, let's see how this rolls on Monday. Um, if this global instability becomes more of a news story, if it ends up being you know more serious than people think or as serious as some people think, or if it just lingers, who knows, right? I think we just don't know what's happening over there at least here in the West. We can't be sure. All we have is sources like Daily Mail and Zero Hedge, etc. So we're doing our best to see what's going on. What I can say, regardless of the severity of this, I think the markets are reacting to, reacting to it. I think they may have started on Friday. So be watchful. How is this going to affect Bitcoin? Well, well, these markets did dumb some. If you look at Bitcoin, it trended down a little bit also. We're sideways right now. Hey, there's something to think about. How will global instability affect Bitcoin at this time? Is it going to pump or is it going to dump? It's an interesting moment because there's many theories, you know, that uh, is Bitcoin uh, decoupled from fiat and traditional markets, etc. Is it becoming its own currency? Is it really a store of value? Is it a safe haven asset? We're still figuring all that out. But I think this event may show us, especially come Monday, come next week, depending on how the news goes, and I hope all is well, but depending on how the news goes, maybe we're going to find out how Bitcoin truly does react to market instability, especially possible market dumps. With that said, hey, be careful. We don't exactly know what's going on. So it's not bad to get one of these masks and it's not bad to wear some rubber gloves when you're out and about and then toss them when you get home. And don't rub your eyes while you're out and about. Wash your hands a lot. Be clean, take care. There's links to these things in the show notes. Not a bad idea to get this stuff because, tell you what, it's almost unavailable already. Think about that. So, get it while you can if you so desire. With that said, obstacles can't stop you. Weather can't stop you. Heartbreak can't stop you. Failure can't stop you. Only you can stop you. Keep hammering. I'm hoping for the best over there in Asia. Hope it's all good to go. Hope it blows over. And as always, Bitcoin is way more important than the daily price action and we may be about to see how it reacts to global instability take care i hope all is well uh, i'll be here again tomorrow i hope monday we see the markets are recovering and i hope by this time you know monday morning all this was nothing and uh, it's all been contained and all is good i'll see you